go. Uh, my name is Rick Abbott, and um, uh, my hobby is making um, model engines. And uh, this is an example of uh, the latest engine that I've uh, been working on. It's not quite functional. I hope to have it functional uh, within a week. Uh, I've been working on this for two months uh, in my spare time. Um, I got the plans for this uh, engine. It's called a Webster engine off the internet. Uh, the gentleman that uh, designed this uh, is offering free plans that you can just download and then you can make your own. Um, all of this, uh, uh, all of this material was uh, scrap uh, material that I've uh, repurposed for this engine, um, and everything was uh, made uh, by me, with a few exceptions. Uh, this piece here is a carburetor from a uh, model airplane engine, and uh, of course the spark plug was bought, in. and um, there's some roller bearings and a couple of gears that uh, mesh together right back here and I bought those from Stark, Stock Drive products and uh, all of that was uh, advised uh, in the plans. Um, yeah, I've got a little counter uh, balancing uh, uh, weight here uh, to offset the, uh, the back and forth motion of the uh, uh, piston as it uh, goes in the cylinder. Um, this uh, piece here is what was suggested by a, um, uh, a person in a uh, model um, uh, machinist group that I have just joined. Uh, it's a Hall Effect device. Normally the uh, points and plugs would be working off of a cam right there, but uh, instead this there's a tiny magnet that uh, I got pressed into this uh, round piece here, and eventually I will. Uh, uh, set, uh, I've got a set screw and I'll join that to this shaft that rotates uh, and uh, so that uh, will drive the uh, spark uh, unit that uh, um, I've got in this little box here. It's called a capacitive discharge uh, uh, unit. This cost uh, fifty dollars and that was um, advised for me to get uh, better than uh, using points and plugs. Um, as I say, I've been working on this engine for two months and uh, getting excited about uh, seeing it uh, work. Um, I don't know if you can see in the, in the video, but as this goes around, this is the rocker arm and it pushes up against a little valve that you make, the exhaust valve, and then up here is the intake valve. And the gas goes in here and I made a little gas uh, tank. And this is all hollow, made of brass pieces with a couple of uh, bought and lamp parts from uh, Home Depot. And uh, I envision that uh, probably will go about like that when I get it done. And then I'm going to put this on a box, um, <clears throat> so it'll be raised up some. And the box will have that uh, ignition unit and the battery pack and an on-off switch. And um, so, so that's about it. It goes round and round. Let me uh, turn it around. Oh, this is the exhaust pipe here, in case you didn't know. Okay, so that just goes round and round like that. It's got some pretty good compression. So, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much.